guys. All right, you can see we have no special bait tank. We're just using a regular 30 gallon live well that's built in. As long as we leave this running all day long and never turn it off, they'll live all day. I brought my 100 gallon live well out here before and they kept them alive, but this does it fine too and it doesn't take up a whole lot of room in the boat. All right, we're getting ready to throw the anchor here. You can see all these marks here. We have bass hanging at 20 feet of water, but we're out near a drop off and there's 40 feet of water in, in the deep water. So we want to set up where we can fish in 20 feet of water that's on the drop off because these bass are relating to the depth, not the bottom. So if we fish right here, we're going to fish below them and not catch fish. So I got the boat in reverse right now. And when this bottom is going to keep coming up because we're going in reverse. When this bottom meets the, where these fish are in the water column, that's where I want to put our baits. Drop it. I'm sorry, hold on, hold on. Stand by to drop. Stand by to drop. Stand by to drop. It's coming up. It's coming up. You see those are, those are nice fish right there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. that that's nice arches there. Stand by to drop. All right. We're almost on the money. Right where these fish, right where these fish here meet bottom, we're going to drop the anchor because we're going to go parallel with the current as well. Normally, you'd have to anchor ahead of that and let your anchor out so you get on it, but we're going to go right on top of it. Drop it down right there. Let her go. We got some good marks here. Multiple marks like that on top of each other almost always mean bass. Always. You'll never see a bass swimming by itself. Even you go to the, the tank over there in Bass Pro Shops, they got two striped bass in that tank. They're right next to each other. There's a double arch, we call it a double arch. That's two bass. All right, cleat her off there. Worms, baby, worms. This water's wormy. <laughs> That right high, don't worry about that line. Don't worry about that line. Just keep it high. Don't worry about that. She's close. She's close. She's close. We got the mad cat man striker fishing out here today. We got the mad cat man. Oh, yeah. She's pulling good. Yeah. This fish hit, hit just 20 foot from the boat, so. Welcome in. Welcome in. There you go. Whoa! I saw it. Oh, I saw it. Yeah. All right, Zach finally broke the ice for us. It's about about 18 pounder. All beautiful, all bass, all the time. Good job, man. Thanks, man. Good job. Good job. Beautiful. Let's get a max. Give him a lick. Give him a lick. Give him a lick. Give him a lick. Oh, <laughs> delicious, delicious. Lick, salty, 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 salty. Right, we got a live bait rig here, all set up. Casting out. We got the new uh, Accurate SR6, brand new. Sweet, we're gonna handle these big bass on it. It's got 30 pound AccuBraid on it. Awesome little rig, he's big too. And we're gonna do is we cast it out immediately as soon as they hit the water and put the anchor on. Immediately, I got my thumb on it here. And when he's so water, he'll, he'll be shocked a little bit. Use a few seconds, and there he goes. You see the rod tip, he's already, already pulled. So I'm gonna slowly let out. Watch here my thumb. I'm just letting out a few inches at a time. If I throw it in slack and just put it in a rod holder, he'll swim around and tangle every line we have out. All these lines are out with no weight. So they're just slowly hanging in the ground. SR6, baby. SR6. SR6. SR6 and Max is in the shadow. Max! Oh, SR6. Bend in that rod. Really set it. There you go. Good job. Perfect. Perfect. And again, look at that. You can see that fish fighting the wide cone of that chirp transducer. Nice. The SR6, baby. It handled awesome. it, no problem. Eight pound test? No, just kidding. 30 pound test. Eight pound, eight pound diameter. Quick, we're, putting out here. we're cutting our bunker in half here. 
And these are giant treble hooks. It's like a 12 aught treble hook. And the idea is with a big treble hook, these bass can't swallow it. They can't get down near the throat, but at the narrowing of the throat, it will stop above the, above the stomach. Don't go with a small treble hook because they will swallow it. Even the medium, they will swallow it. With the big ones, we haven't had one get down into the belly. I go through the nostrils here with a headpiece, just like that. We have wire because there's a lot of bluefish in the area. The water's super stained, so the wire won't hurt us at all. Uh, if we're in clear water, Long Island, something like that, in the sound, we'll use a, we won't use the big treble hooks. We'll use a smaller circle hook, about an eight circle hook, and we will use fluorocarbon up there. But for here, wire is fine with 30 pound mono, and that's it. Spread them out with no weight, no weight at all on that. Yet another. I want that rod bent now. Oh, take oh she's riding the extreme now. Riding the extreme. Love an accurate reel. You gotta love it. When you step to the back corner. Step to the back corner, please. That a boy. Oh, hello. I think we've done something. What have we done? Shed some light on the subject. Oh boy. Hey Zach, why don't you come clear this rod on this side and starboard? And after that we'll get a net ready. She's swimming, man, she is staying out there like a big bass boy. It's not doing all that, that yeah. head motion. It's, it is, it's staying right out there and she won't come to the boat. She just shook on the top. I saw a big fin, that's a bass. That's a bass. That's a bass. You're fine, you're staying right in the light. Just keep cranking the way you're doing. You still click on it. All right, come on back, come on back. Just crank the whole way, crank the whole way. That's it. She's back out over here. I see, I see the uh, the fin coming off. Oh, that's a nice bass, bro. Nice bass, nice fish. We've been working for these, brother. Oh man! Nice. Woo! In the net. Woo! Tommy almost fell on that. <laughs> nice. Good job, brother. Good job. Woo! It's Thirty pounds. It's thirty pounds. She tricked yeah. us. She tricked us. We didn't even want to get the camera out. Holy moly. I guess the move is worth it. Right. There you go. Yep. Well, the hook come down to get you. Good job, brother. Down there in the belly. Whoa. <laughs> All right, Woo! <laughs> Old school. <laughs> That's right. Nice, brother. Ah. Now, this cool. man who's holding it, you got to understand, this guy's like six. Six three, <laughs> 250 pounds. <laughs> Good fish, brother. Good fish. Found it. All right, let's get Found the it. back on water. Let's catch <laughs> it. Let's get the hook out of there. You go too, brother. Okay.